Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be reviewing Project Power, which just came out on Netflix a few days ago. So this is technically a superhero movie, but I wouldn't really call it one. It's more of an action movie. Like there are superhero themes in this movie, but it's not really about superheroes. Um, it's about basically there's this pill that gets invented and it gives people superpowers and these superpowers could be anything. You could go invisible, you could start to fly, or you could explode because it's a luck of the draw type situation. And it reminds me of, um, of if you watch Harry Potter, Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, how you could get something nice like strawberry or chocolate, or you could get like earwax or something really gross. I don't know, that just came to mind when I watched this movie. Anyway, so this movie stars Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So I feel like Joseph gets typecast as the cop in a lot of movies, I think. Or is that just me? Um, I swear I've seen him play a cop in a few movies. Not just The Dark Knight Rises, so obviously that is his most recognised role, I feel. Um, but I'm always going to remember Joseph as the, the kid from Third Rock from the Sun. So if you've seen Third Rock from the Sun, it's like this sitcom about aliens and it's really funny. I, go, I recommend that you go check it out. So anyway, this movie, I would say the acting is really good in it. I really thought that everybody brought their, their A game to this movie. They really tried as, as good as they could, but they only had so much to work with. My first problem is that it just went for too long. It went for two hours almost and I feel like they could have cut it down for an hour and a half and um, just got rid of a lot of unnecessary stuff that happens in this movie and it still would have been good. And one thing that really annoys me is I feel like the trailer was sort of like clickbait. You know, it, it showed all these really cool action moments with the superhero powers and we barely see any of that in this movie and I would have really liked it if they had explored that a little bit more. Like we see the guy that's on fire and we see an ice lady who's like frozen, Elsa from Frozen and what else do we see? We see like Joseph Gordon-Levitt is bulletproof which is really cool and we see that in the trailer like the, the bullet going into his head and it like it doesn't impact on him. I don't know, and there's like shockwaves, but that is pretty much the only superhero moments in the movie is what they show in the trailer. There's barely anything else. Like there is a few things and like the ending, I feel like they were trying to save their budget so they could have this big dramatic ending, but it just I just felt like it was like a plane at the airport. It kept going down the runway, building up speed, for this big ending and then it just didn't lift off well to me anyway um so the cinematography was good I really did think they did a good job with like the shots in the rain and stuff I I thought this was a very stylish good looking movie but yeah you could only do so much even if you've got a good styled movie with good acting good actors if you don't have a good plot and this movie did not have a good plot it just it was too slow it felt choppy it felt like they didn't really put enough work into writing the script um like the thing with the police being involved I don't know it just felt like they weren't really putting a lot of effort into it it felt a bit generic but um it did have a lot of potential I'll say that I felt like this going into it I had my hopes up because it was a really interesting premise and it had a lot of potential. But the other thing I had a problem with is, um, so Jamie Foxx's character in this movie kidnaps this girl who's like one of the other main starters, stars of the movie and then he's like, hey, I'm going to kill your mum and I'm going to hurt you if you don't do what I say to do. And then they become like Batman and Robin and start getting along and we're supposed to sympathise with his character because he's he's gone all like Liam Neeson and Taken and he's looking for his daughter who's been kidnapped and it's like, yeah, I, I get it, but you're not Liam Neeson, you know? Like he 
knew where to draw the line. This guy, he doesn't know where to draw the line. You don't threaten to murder somebody's mother and hurt them and then just, that's okay. You're forgiven. No, it doesn't work like that. And um, they had to have their few political moments in this movie where they sprinkled in the political, like, oh, you're a black woman, so you're always going to have a disadvantage and be oppressed moments, you know, because it's a Netflix movie and you can't really have a Netflix movie get made today unless you add a few of those moments in it. Anyway, so apart from that, yeah, look, this isn't a horrible movie. Like, it, it's definitely something you could watch on a Friday night and be entertained. I never really felt... Well, I would say I felt bored in this movie, but it wasn't the worst Netflix movie. That's not really setting the bar too high. But yeah, I would give it probably a 6 out of 10. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Was I too harsh in your opinion? Or did you enjoy this movie? Did you hate it? Let me know and please help me out and subscribe.